And what is up, what is up, what is up, everybody? Welcome to this live stream of 10 Minute Conditioning. We got a 10 minute workout coming at you in about four minutes and 45 seconds. But yes, y'all, welcome, welcome. Happy Friday. Hope you're having a great one, whether you're ending your week or starting your weekend strong. Make it a great one, everybody. And welcome again to this pre recorded recording of me hosting a previous recording of myself doing a 10 minute workout. We got a core workout coming at you right here, right now. And for those of you who are not familiar with the 10 minute workout series, it is completely based on the premise that 10 minutes is better than nothing. A great way to phase in physical activity into your lifestyle. A great way to include resistance training into your workout regimen if you haven't done so already. These classes are designed for begin are designed for beginners, but are completely scalable for people who are uh, who want something that's more advanced and more challenging to them. All you gotta do is increase the amount of weight that you use or resistance in the resistance bands, or simply loop out loop the workout again and again and again to the point where it's challenging for you. We do take about about eight to ten minutes before we get started to go every go for go over every exercise that we're doing first so that way you know, you know how to do it safely, effectively, and how to modify it for your needs and before we do the 10-minute workout. But before we begin, let's go ahead and hit up those announcements. Don't forget that these live streams are brought to you by the J. Ramos Works Foundation, a 501c3 nonprofit organization where we believe that improving wellness should be accessible, collaborative, and a means that works to benefit our local and global communities. We hold multiple events throughout the year collaborating with other fitness instructors and other organizations so that way we can make a bigger impact in our local and global communities and be able to serve some great causes out there that help the human condition in so many different ways. And through these virtual workouts that we're putting out there, our mission here is to reach as many people around the world, no matter what their situation is, so that way they too can work on their health and fitness, help them minimize the risks of cardiovascular disease and cancer, but overall just help them live their best lives. With all that in mind, we are completely supported through, through, through donations. No such thing as a donation too great or too small as everything does help out. You can also support us by sharing our content out there, letting other people know about what we're doing so that they too can work on their health and fitness and maybe support us monetarily as well. And last but not least, you could also support us by shopping online. Do all three at www.jramosworks.com. You can also support us by gearing up. Get your health and fitness equipment on our site at equipment.jramosworks.com. And when you do, you'll notice that these are links that connect to amazon.com. And when you purchase through our links, we get commission. So yes, get your dumbbells, your resistance bands, your massage tools, your water bottles, all the above, everything that you could possibly need, that you could potentially need in your fitness journey. And yes, support us while you, while you purchase. So yeah, that's a great way to support us as well. And last but not least, don't forget about our Amazon gift card giveaway where you could potentially win a $100 Amazon gift card prize. But of course, we never start there. We start at $25 and then grow this prize by $5 every time we get 10 new subscribers on our YouTube channel. Current prize value right now is $10, $20, $25. And we currently need 10 more subscribers to make this a $30 Amazon gift card prize. Check out all the details at giveaways.jramosworks.com. And when you do, it will take you to a YouTube video. And on that YouTube video, make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And in the comments, make sure you type in the phrase that pays. And that will count as one free entry into the Amazon gift card giveaway. And of course, there are multiple ways to get additional entries as well. Check it out while, once again, in the YouTube video and maybe in the, and in the description of the YouTube video. They're both on there for a purpose. So yeah, read the details in the description to see how it work officially works. But yes, everybody, um, get all those entries in, get those subscriptions in, and get them all in by September 3rd. And on September 4th, we'll determine who the winner is at 6.25 p.m. Pacific time, five minutes before we start the UGEM Fitness class during that live stream. But yes, everybody, if you're taking these virtual workouts, you should be getting a free entry every single time. So make it happen for you, make it happen for us, make it happen for everybody. Get all your entries in on to by September 3rd, and then on September 4th, we'll determine who the winner is. And those are all your announcements for today, Friday, August 11th, in the great year of 2023. If, if, Friday, that means it's the first day of the Riddle Dance Finals at the Anaheim Convention Center. So that's where I'll be at working that. I'll be um, working the, the Summit Games. I'll be the MC and running tech support and scoreboards, all that kind of crazy good stuff. You should see it. It's a pretty cool production. And you should also participate. It's absolutely free to participate. Um, get your teams together. But uh, it, yeah. And so today, it's a demo day. We get, have everyone have a chance to play the game, see how it works, and then sign up and register for the games itself on Saturday or Sunday or both. Or both. 
If you get better scores on Sunday compared to Saturday, that means you overwrite your score with your, your best score. So that's it, everybody. Those are all your announcements for today. Let's get this workout started. Shall we get started? I think we shall. Let's go. Let's go. And welcome again to this live stream of a pre-recorded recording of me hosting a previous recording of myself doing a 10-minute conditioning workout core edition. For those of you who are not familiar with the 10-minute workout series, it is completely based on a premise that 10 minutes is better than nothing. It's a great way to phase in physical activity into your lifestyle. It's a great way to include resistance training into your workout regimen if you haven't done so already. These classes are designed for beginners but are completely scalable for people who want something that's more advanced and challenging than them. All you have to do is increase the amount of weight you use or increase the amount of resistance or the resistance bands or simply loop the workout again and again and again to the point where it's challenging for you. We do take about 8 to 10 minutes before we do the workout to go through every single exercise that we are doing so that way you know how to do it effectively, safely, and how to modify it for your needs and make it a great workout for you at where you are at in your fitness journey. Safety considerations. Make sure you have plenty of water in your bicycle. Grab that drink of water whenever you want to. Feel free to take breaks whenever you want to as well. We do have about 15 to 30 second breaks built in between every, every single exercise. But if you feel like you need to take a break during the exercise itself, feel free to do so, everybody. We understand that certain movements or certain body parts are not as conditioned or not, you're maybe just not used to the movements. So if you feel like you need to take a break during an exercise itself, feel free to do so. And a big thing I like to say here at any given time, you feel like, hey, if I push myself any further, I might set myself back then call it good. That means you challenge yourself. That means you push yourself to that limit. And that means you had a great workout. All right. That means you did. That's it. That's it. All right. So big thing we like to say here as well, we want you to make the improvement of health and fitness a habit. And to do that, you need to be consistent about it every single time, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just show up, be consistent about it. You'll improve over time. You'll also make the choices and decisions and the changes that you need need to do to continually improve as well. We never want you to rush that fitness journey because that is a, a, do a, rushing it is a great way for you to drop out of it, whether physically or mentally or all the above. But consistently growing over time, that's a great way to just adopt it into your lifestyle. Yeah? Yeah. Other safety considerations, make sure your space is nice and safe for you to work in because we don't want you to be tripping or anything or hurting yourself that way because that in itself is a setback. No setbacks, guys. We want you to be able to be consistent about your workouts and um, improving your health and fitness every single day. All right, let's do the workout. Shall we do it? Let's go. Workout coming at you in three, two, one. Let's get it. Cloudy weather. It's like, whoa, that was unexpected. I thought like summer was here. <laughs> I, thought, I thought summer was here. All right, everybody, let's talk about what we're doing today. Today's class will include the following. So just a few variations from last week. So I think that's what the way the route I want to do. It's like we, I want to keep mainly everything the same based on what we did the previous week, but maybe just switch one thing out and just switch things as we go along. So maybe maybe one or two exercises get switched, but um, we'll see. I don't know. I'm still I'm still considering like how to best optimize these 10 minute workouts and still create some variety, but also something that's um, also something that caters to people who are just starting. And then a lot of people who are just starting need more familiarity. So uh, yeah, I'm working on it, so we'll see how it goes. But yes, for the 10-minute workout this morning, we got the following. Of course, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, every time you just do the first round, we include that two-minute warm-up. For those of you who want to extend the challenge and do additional rounds, skip that two-minute warm-up for every consecutive round afterwards. But let's talk about what we're doing. First off, we're going to stand. We're going to do um, standing bicycles. So your feet are going to be a little bit wider width, <laughs> a little bit wider than shoulder. What is that? On the side? Is that? Oh. <laughs> It's my weight um, grip thing. All right, cool. Anyway, so first things first, standing bicycles. You're going to have your feet a little wider than shoulder width apart. You're going to have your hands t uh, touching your head, but not like grasping it, all right? Don't like grasp your head. Just touch it. That's your that's a anchor point for where you want to have your hands. So the biggest thing that we want to do here for the um, form of this workout for standing bicycles is that you want to make sure you bring your right uh, right shoulder down to your left knee, getting a nice contraction in that core, and you're switching sides, boom, getting that nice contraction. So hit that full side, nice controlled movements, boom, take it down, boom. Big thing we, not, that we want to try to avoid doing, as this happens a lot, is people tend to bend at the shoulder, and instead of bringing their shoulder down towards the knee, they just bring their elbow down to, to the knees. Yeah. So yes, you still get a little bit of an ab work out there, but you're not getting the full contraction, the full range of motion that we're looking for. So get that full range. Get the most out of it. Next up, overhead um, side bends, weights, no weights, totally up to you. If you're holding a weight, you hold it up high. And while you have your hands up high, and what you're doing is having your feet shoulder width apart, you're going to bend to the side, 
Get a little bit of a contraction on this side, but the biggest part that's working out here is your opposite side of your abdominal wall. And you're using it, so make it tight and bring yourself back up center. That's it. So take it to the other side. And then just use the other side to bring it back center. Engage and bring it back center. So those will be your overhead side bends. And if you choose to use weights, just have that weight up above. Bring it outside. Boom. Side. Boom. Hit those obliques, everybody. Now we're going to take it to the floor. We got 30 second side crunches on each side. This is basically a lying down variation of the standing bicycle, but we focus on one side only. So check it out. You're going to have, you're going to lay down on your back, feet close to your booty, abs tight. You're going to have one hand to the side, so still touching your head. You have one side and hand out to the f on the floor. You're going to bring that left shoulder up, contracting the side of your abdominal wall. Bring it towards your knee. If you want to make it, uh, add more to it, you of course can bring that knee in as well. Just focusing on one side. You challenge yourself how you want to challenge yourself, but of course you can always keep it that, that foot down as well. We're going to do 30 seconds each side. One big thing again, remember, don't bend at your shoulder. Just don't do this. Do this. You want to bring that shoulder up towards your knee. Up towards the knee, all right? Hitting those side bends and next up, or side crunches, Next up, we have the straight arm crunch. This is going to focus on the upper abdominal wall. Weight right in front of you. Or weights, no weights, totally up to you, but yeah. Weights, no weights, so no weight, just have your hands up in front. You're going to lift your shoulders and chest off the floor, looking straight up to the ceiling. Focus on using that upper abdominal wall to get this contraction. And that will be 60 seconds of your straight arm crunches. Next up, leg lifts, focusing on the lower abdominal wall. Hands beneath your glutes, abs tight. You're lifting your feet off the floor. Nice controlled movements. And of course, you can add a weight if you'd like to. Other part about this, if you want to make it less intense, raise the legs up higher. You don't have to go so low. And then of course, keep it down if you want to lower it, make it more intense. And if you want to increase intensity as well, clasp that weight between your feet. And up. Yeah. 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 All right. And that will be your um, leg lifts. Next up, oblique crunch. Um, so yeah, same thing. <laughs> Not the same thing. <laughs> you're going to put your knees, point your knees down to a 45 degree angle. You can, uh, once again, weight, no weight. I think for all the exercises on the on the floor, we're going to have, oh, except for the flutter kick. All right, so never mind. All right, side oblique, you have your, I, no weights, so you just have your hand touching your, to the side of your head. Or weight, you can add your, just hold it next to your head. You're engaging your oblique as you're getting a nice oblique crunch. Crunch it. Crunch it. And crunch it. And we got 30 seconds on each side for that one. Last but not least, we have the flutter kick. Big lower abdominal one. 30 seconds, you're going to have your hands with your glutes again, abs tight, lift the feet off the floor, and just flutter. That's it. As slow as or as fast as you want to go, we hold it for 30, we do this for 30 seconds. Feel free to take breaks during the exercise as well. But yes, aim for 30 seconds, keep that belly button to the spine, so abs tight in other words. <laughs> Engage that core. 30 seconds of that action. And that will be your 10 minute core workout this morning. You ready to do it? Let's go, guys. Let's work. Let's get it in. Let's, let's get this mat back <laughs> to where it needs to be so it gets started. All right. Let's go. Woo. 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 Starting the mute. Oh, wait. Turn off this, uh, our list that we're doing today. It's funny. Like, now, like, I messed up the, the list a few times. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like, oh, I forgot to do this. I forgot to type this right. Or I forgot to uh, move things. Like, I'm like, not sure if I have the right one. We'll see ya. Let's go. Let's go. The music. And hey. Got ten arms in the morning. Alright, <laughs> peeps, ready for this? March out. Inhale up. Breathe it in. Woo! Excellent, everybody. What? And up again. Breathe it in. What? Exit down, get it. What? Throw your arms forward. Left to right. We go step left and rock. Get it. Now, though.
throw it up high right here, throw it up high. Hello world, how you doing out there? Hey, hey, march out, right to left, get it. Side chop, or step chop, it goes step, chop. <laughs> get that core in there. Let's get it, let's get it. Start warming it up. Bam. Bam. Hey. Hey. Woo. Woo. Ha. Now step it wide, right to left. Get ready, peeps. Little wide stance. Oblique side bends. Let's go. We go right, left. That's it. Keep it up. Make it tight. Get that mind muscle connection going on. Just don't do the movement. Focus on the muscles that you're working. Activate them. That's it, guys. Now let's take it down low. Take it down low. Activate. Getting a little more, more legs in here now. Get it. Mm. Mm. That's it, everybody. All right. Bring it up. Bring it up. Torso twist. Still engaging that core. Make it tight. Take it down low. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Finish it off. Ten more seconds right here. And done. Next up, we have the standing bicycles. You're going to have your hands or fingertips just touching the head. You're going to bring that right shoulder down towards your left knee. Alternating sides, getting a nice contraction on that core. Avoid bending at the shoulder and bring your elbow down. Six seconds, let's go. Nice controlled movements. Get a little bit of a balance challenge in this as well. Just don't do the movement, focus on what you're working out. Make it tight, mind-muscle connection. Get it, everybody. left side and then using the opposite side bring yourself back up 60 seconds let's go alternate alternate sides seconds everybody keep it up Everybody. Now we're gonna take things down to the floor. Weights, no weights once again, but yeah, get your mat, get your mat out. We got um, side crunches coming up next. So we're gonna focus on contracting the side. <laughs> so weight, no weight. You're gonna have your hands to the side. You're gonna take your shoulder up, bring it towards your knee. Another option is to bring your knee up with it. Focusing on one side only. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. <laughs> Oh, it's too late. Reverse crunch. Let's go. Let's go. 30 seconds each side, everybody. So, yeah. All right. I made a mistake. It's okay. Let's get it.
three, two, one. Other side, everybody. Next up, we have straight arm crunches. You're gonna have your hand above the dumbbell or hand straight up. Lift the chest and shoulders off the floor, getting a nice contraction in an upper abdominal wall. Ready for this? Let's get it right here, let's go. Oh, that's what I did. <laughs> I see the mistake I made. Okay, I see it now. Look, I need a second myself. I need a second guess myself when I'm editing these files. <laughs> I see what I did. All right, give it up, guys. You got this. All right, three more seconds right here. Three more seconds. Everybody. Next up, we have the side oblique crunches. Lay down on the side. Knees pointed to 45 degree angle. Weights, no weights, slowly up to you. And just lift up to the side. Let's go. Three seconds. Each side. Let's go again. and you just turn over. I need to adjust for the camera. Switch sides and go. Off, everybody, final exercise. Everybody, that was your 10 minute core workout. Woo! Great job, everybody. All right, everybody, great job all around. Thank you so much for busting out that 10 minute core workout. Let's go ahead and get ready to bust out that selfie, shall we? Here comes 
Today's date for you is August 11th. Today for me is Tuesday, August 8th. I'm pre-recording all this stuff. So thank you so much for doing the pre-recorded recording of me hosting a previous recording of myself doing some 10-minute workouts. Take a photo of the screen, post it on your social media, tag me in it, make sure I can see it, but I acknowledge it. That means to count it as an entry into the Amazon gift card giveaway. Of course, you can always submit the photo directly to enter.jramosworks.com. Clubs here wants to say hi and thank you so much for joining us once again for another 10-minute workout core, uh, core edition. Yes, 10-minute workout core edition, core conditioning. Yeah! Nice job, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us once again. We have 60 minutes of U-Jam coming at you in about 8 to 10 minutes. So feel free to get another round in. But if you're not, then we'll see you after the break. Have a great one, guys. Peace out. And thank you so much for all the love and support. As always, without you, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Without you, it doesn't make, like, we wouldn't be here. We, just, we wouldn't be doing this. So we'll see you after the break, everybody. Peace out.